purpose uh, to the purpose uh, uh, of this presentation is to show the possibilities of participation uh, that uh, people with various disabilities uh, in canoeing can use using the right solution. I mean, I mean, simply speaking, we can be equal in in the sport. But it's our role to prepare the sport for people with different environment. And this is a presentation plan. So uh, I want to touch the three pillars of the sport movement, a philosophical foundation of each, each uh, pillar, organization, some principles, uh, and then we will come to the sport rules. Uh, current kayak regulations, uh, some similarities and differences in organization of uh, canoe regattas and uh, uh, regulation and the, the effect of this regulation. Of course, I am open for questions and uh, proposals. Um, when I started uh, my um, my sport uh, interests, uh, I didn't realize that we have a different part of sports, especially when I joined Special Olympic, I realized that most of us don't realize that uh, we don't have just simply uh, two parts of the sport for people with and without impairment or disabilities, but uh, the huge organization for people with different disabilities like Special Olympics and Paralympics is, um, let's say, amazing thing, long time established and uh, uh, by, uh, by very famous people and uh, have all different organization. So uh, these are uh, not very new things for you, but uh, with these slides, I want to make uh, all of us aware that it's not simple divided on two um, pillars. Uh, the, the pillar of uh, sport for people with disabilities uh, is divided on more than one. Uh, and if you can see, uh, focusing on the um, in the middle, uh, the Special Olympic was established uh, 50 years ago by Eunice Kennedy Shriver, and we've got our uh, SOI Special Olympic International headquarters, and we are officially recognized by the International Olympic Committee. And uh, Special Olympic is delegated for athletes with intellectual dis disabilities. So, not uh, so it's focused on, on this kind of disability. And uh, if we can see the philosophical foundation and motto as all the, all the organization, I, I know it's very basic and um, they have uh, the philosophical foundations. And uh, why Special Olympics uh, were created? Uh, because uh, the Eunice Kennedy Shriver, the founder, she noticed that uh, with some uh, help, with some special organization and special rules, uh, children and adults with intellectual disabilities can take the same benefits uh, like people without disabilities. Uh, they can, they are able to train, enjoy, and benefit from participation uh, in adapted sports, adapt with adapted rules, and they can uh, do especially the social inclusion. That's uh, why a motto, uh, which is brilliant. I want to win, but if I can't win. Let me be brave in the attempt. Of course, we all know that the participation in sport is one of the basic human rights. And that's why 
um, Pierre de Coubert, Coubertin has refounded the, the, the Olympic ideas. That's why we've got the soul in motion in Paralympic movement. Mm. Uh, and numbers, we love numbers. So if we can pay attention on the numbers in the middle, comparing to, <laughs> to the left and the right, uh, we've got 20, uh, 223 programs in 172 countries, uh, included in, uh, 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 in Special Olympic. And uh, of course, the system is different. Is different. We, we both know, uh, we all know that uh, uh, we've got um, summer and winter games, uh, summer games every four years, winter games every four years, which give, gives us two years between uh, the games. Uh, but the difference is that Special Olympic has different plays uh, and different time. Uh, so uh, um, the last summer games were in last uh, March 2019 in Abu Dhabi, and the next, I hope, will be in Berlin in 2023. Uh, while let's hope for Tokyo 2021. And of course, uh, they are fundamental, fundamental principles for each of the organization. Uh, why I think about it, why, why I talk about it? Because in the situation of uh, building organization and building competition, we have to be aware where all this movement, all these ideas come from, as well as uh, have this knowledge where to find uh, the best solution when uh, establishing the rules, when changing the rules, where to find the biases. So we've got Olympic car Charter, uh, as we all uh, know, uh, with basic regulations, and we've got the IPC handbook we've seen, <laughs> we've seen, and the, the Bible of uh, Special Olympic is Special Olympic General Rules, which you can find in Article 1 of General Regulations. So I've put the links here. You can use them to read the principles. Uh, and uh, we also, uh, from the general rules, statutes, and general mission philosophy, we go to the sport rules, which we definitely need to organize competition. Uh, I am a competition animal, <laughs> so it's a challenging time now. But when we go from general rules to the sources of sport rules, we know that all the sport rules uh, are, are based on International Sport Federation and our mother International Canoe Federation is the basic. Uh, and comparing to Special Olympic, we've got official Special Olympic sport rules with, uh, with general section how to organize competition, which rules are, uh, we are going to use. Uh, and uh, of course, we have to est establish rules for a given sport. And the, reg uh, the regulation on each particular sport are based on the regulation of International Sports Federation. That means for kayaking, we use the, uh, we, we use as a basic uh, international canoe federation rules. But uh, of course, we have to be aware that uh, the rules of international uh, federation apply. However, if they not um, uh, convince with the Special Olympic regulations, 
special Olympic rules shall apply. Mm -hmm. And uh, of course, in Paralympic Games, uh, we, we have several categories. And as an uh, example of the, your presentation, Anna and Johanna, uh, which, uh, which went very deep into the uh, research data, uh, we, we should establish very detailed uh, rules uh, according uh, to the uh, disability. And, and of course, it depends on the discipline. Uh, let's go to our sport. Let's go to the canoeing. Uh, we call, even in Special Olympic, to make things easier, things easier, we call kayaking. And uh, of course, we know the history. We know 1994. And as the date of, of establishing, and we know the first time in 1936 uh, in, in um, Berlin. Uh, the short story of uh, Special Olympics starts in early 19th. We started the first trainings in Poland, and then uh, kayaking was uh, included in Dublin Games in 2003 and uh, Shanghai uh, 2007, as well as uh, Athens 2011, Los Angeles 2015, and Abu Dhabi. So, so since once we started, <laughs> we are in. And uh, it was mentioned before that uh, in 2016, uh, that was the historical um, moment of uh, para having para canoeing for the first time at the Paralympic uh, Games. And the details are in rules, of course. So these are links. Uh, to the specific sport rules in each pillar of uh, our sport. And uh, what I wanna uh, mention and underline is that the, um, we've got uh, rules are changing according to, uh, to uh, all the solutions and uh, uh, the development of the sport movement. Uh, so last uh, last uh, updating of the canoe sprint is uh, from uh, the 1st January 2019. A special Olympic uh, is uh, 2018. That's uh, where we can find the detailed rules. Some of them I will touch. And the basic similarities and differences. So uh, we've got uh, different distances uh, um, and uh, different uh, equipment. And if you look at Special Olympics, we've got 200, 500, and 1,000, which is a new distance. We've got single and double boats, only kayaks, no canoes yet. Uh, the uniqueness uh, of the events is that we've got unified crews. That means the uh, key T2 can uh, consist of the Special Olympic athletes and his or her partner, uh, which is a person without disabilities. It, it can't be coached, but it's a uh, um, peer they train together. So that's something new coming from the new strategy. Uh, while uh, if you look uh, in the middle part uh, about equipment and boats, uh, we had a lot of discussion which boats are the best for Special Olympic athletes. And uh, the, the answer was <laughs> the easiest are the best. Uh, that's why uh, it's totally different in the organization because the organizing committee 
provide the same type of boats uh, for all the athletes. So normally uh, we don't have containers coming uh, like Nello, Vida or plastics coming with us. Uh, um, the Special Olympics uh, organizing committee provides boats equal for everyone. Uh, we've recommended parameters like five in stability, uh, and uh, we, ba we, we basically use touring boats, uh, but um, we all, it's also um, in the schedule, in the list of events, we also have uh, the possibility to use professional boats. Uh, unfortunately, not many of our athletes are able to compete on them. Uh, what is different, this is also competition format, uh, preliminary round and final round, which sounds very similar. But uh, if you ask who goes to the final in Special Olympic, the answer is everybody goes to the final. That means uh, we organize competition, in fact, to times one preliminary round where athletes compete according to their uh, first entries and we cut the score they compete in let's say hits but we call it preliminaries in the group up to eight uh, we take the results from the entries we put them in the addition, um, first uh, let's say first round group and they compete. We take the score and then we uh, make a new program for the finals where everybody goes to the final. We can say finally A, B, C, D, but we don't use these names uh, as they are uh, not uh, quite appropriate. So they compete in the groups up to eight with similar possibilities, with similar score, from the preliminary round. And of course, it can happen that, that uh, athletes, to, due to any reasons, can, um, can't show uh, his or her possibilities at that day. So we've got special procedure of changing the results. That means the coach should be very careful uh, watching athletes paddling, observing and comparing the results, because if something happens, we, we have find the possibility uh, that we use the athletes performance change form, and then we can use the time from the entries. Um, so uh, the, the answer for the question, how many goes to the finals? Everybody goes to the finals. And I still remember the big surprise of uh, my uh, professors from my sport academy when they ex when they said, "Oh my God, so new, you need thousands of medals." Yes, I need thousands of medals. Uh, and uh, uh, what else? The medals they are dedicated to the proper proper. Place. It's not like everybody takes the gold. No, they take the medals according to their place. So uh, one to three, they, uh, we give uh, gold, silver and bronze. And four to eight, they have uh, ribbons uh, with uh, the place on it. And similarities. <laughs> These are horses. Uh, on the left, you can see the Long Beach, Los Angeles, with a provisional course. Uh, they have Albano system there, but the tie is uh, really big, really high. So we were stra struggling to have a proper finish line. Um, by the way, on the other side, they are houses of uh, the, the richest people in Los Angeles. Uh, a wonderful place, uh, and the course was was built on the on the Albano system existed. And in Abu Dhabi, last games, as you can see, we've got a wonderful course. 
uh, we don't use the start machines. Uh, sometimes, if it's possible, we use, but, but we didn't. Uh, normally, we don't use the start machines. And, and as you can see, uh, it's a provisional but lovely regatta course made uh, by uh, Teggy Sport. So we use the same course, if it's possible. Yeah. And uh, an example of equipment customization. It's very important to, to give a chance to paddle on the easy boats. Uh, we, we have two classes, but the basic boat, this is Prigion, uh, the basic boat uh, is a touring boat. And as you can see, it's not the fast one, but it's very stable. So um, it, need, uh, the, it needs um, a lot of effort to, to paddle uh, on, in this boat, uh, in the sprint distance. However, uh, we don't, as I said before, we don't have many athletes paddling on the professional boat. So we can't do uh, the event with um, competition. I mean, uh, we've got uh, one or three coming the competition and what is important we've got a random system of uh, advance to the higher level that means uh, 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 the same chance has a very weak athlete and the very best athlete it's not like only the very best athlete go it's a random that's why uh, we have uh, very easy boats uh, and here are some examples. Uh, Risto, you can uh, you can see the <laughs> the special tool from Rio. Uh, it's for 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 para. But uh, these are examples from uh, Los Angeles. We use the doubles from Prigion, and uh, the um, uh, and the singles. Uh, from the company uh, in Abu Dhabi. And as you can see, uh, there is a possibility to use the stern, but they decided not to use it. And uh, if you can see that the proper race, it looks quite, quite similar. Uh -huh. That's another challenge. Uh, and here are officials on, uh, on the right down. There are officials from the boat control, boat control officials and, and volunteers for the boat control in Rio, which, is, which was very challenging, very detailed and very specific. Uh, and the Portugal from Sprint and from Long Beach. As you can see, in Los Angeles, we didn't have a big group, uh, so we've got less officials. Why? Because we don't have the boat control uh, like uh, in ICF competition. And also we have less group and we can have less athletes in the group. So we don't use as many uh, course empire. And uh, normally it's something like um, 60, 70 athletes in the games. Uh, that's why we can use uh, less uh, officials. But we still have uh, we still have to to position them on the main position. Okay. Uh, why uh, why to change? Why the rules evaluate? Uh, especially if you look for special Olympic. Uh, if not uh, the evaluation of the sports rules, uh, it would be not the possibility of participation for people with a uh, very different level of uh, physical uh, or psychophysical um, possibilities. Uh, if you can imagine having sorry for saying that uh, in that straight way, one quarter uh, of Wechsler skull, which is needed to function normally, uh, normally they would not participate in any. Sport. 
uh, but even from uh, my experience, from uh, with with very low uh, level of function, are able to participate on the highest level of the competition. So uh, even from my previous school, which was in a little village, uh, I had some Olympians, special Olympians, and. Uh, other aspect uh, that uh, the unified sports uh, which which are able to change the world uh, including partners uh, to the special olympic athletes that's why we are currently working on the rule and of course on the rules and of course there are some only um, only uh, <laughs> uh, in three points given uh, advantages of changing rule uh, into other pillars. Um, simple solutions. Uh, if we updated and adapted the sports rules, uh, it's amazing example of adaptation and developing world. The world is developed, so we have to adapt the things. Um, the example uh, of our rules, uh, uh, cre I hope clearly shows that uh, we can follow the foundation of philosophy and principles to a given sport. So adapting and creating the proper rules give us a chance to be uh, fair in our sport um, organization. And uh, what, uh, what else that shows this adaptation? Uh, it shows that the people uh, with various restrictions, with various uh, disabilities, uh, are able to full extent create, uh, to, to, to um, participate totally in sport by creating really appropriate rules. That's especially according to the previous lecture. So the sport spirit for me is the same, doesn't matter uh, what disability people have, uh, but it's our um, challenge to adapt all the things um, to have good and fair competition. Tell me if you can see any different in sport spirit looking at the Finnish uh, athlete on the on the right corner, Chinese athlete and Irish athlete uh, during Special Olympic Games. Uh, I can't see any differences in sport spirit, in, in sport joy, in sport power. And uh, more or less uh, touching only things, uh, that's all. Uh, I would like to, to thank you for uh, hearing me. Uh, fortunately, uh, my neighbor finished his work. Should you have any questions? Should you have any questions? Uh, I am uh, available. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Wow, Rosa, thank you so much. Uh, and very inspiring last picture there. Um, it was really good to see. Um, we have time for some questions. Uh, if there's any questions, uh, you can either just uh, switch on your microphone and, and ask, or you can write the question in the chat if you, if you wish. Thank you, my teacher. Rista was my teacher. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. For, uh, for ICF, uh, a very strict one, by the way. <laughs> okay, um, we have a question here, Rosa. 